Here we are working on our first uh, case on a brand new pond. And uh, what we're going to be doing uh, here today is uh, we're going to do uh, mid span uh, access on this 96 count cable. Um, we are going to uh, build the Comscope uh, Fosque here. And I've got a flat drop adapter um, that's going to be getting it prepped uh, for the customer. And we're going to be putting in another uh, 1x5 95% splitter here. And uh, this is the first um, pond, so we should have a plus 5 coming out of uh, the OLT. And uh, if you see, it's a 22. So I should be negative 17 in a perfect world on those taps, uh, which is pretty much great what we're shooting for. So let's go ahead and test that. And then the next one will probably also be a 95, which will put those customers um, right at a uh, 19. Yep. So we'll go ahead and we'll get into our cable and get this uh get this going and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna build this case splice this in and we're gonna go to the next box which is already built and just splice the splitter in check our powers and splice a flat drop all right so uh got talking with one of my neighbors there for a little bit and uh got our uh got our splitter in here um, unbalanced I got my first splice down I just did my second um, and uh, went ahead and I checked our power uh, which was just fantastic so um, I was supposed to be at a negative uh, I just rounded up to say as a negative 17 um, I'm at a 15.95 so uh, this is coming straight off the OLT no customers on the line or nothing so uh, the optic might be putting out a little little more power than it normally would um, probably because it's trying to find its first, uh, like, ONU, I guess, but, um, pretty good. Uh, so, at my next, uh, box down, then I should be at, like, a, a plus 2.5 or something like that. Yeah, just keep, uh, keep on. I'm pretty much done in this one. I just gotta do my heat shrink, close this one up, and then I can actually go down. Now this one's prepped, ready to roll for a customer to get plugged in. Um, conduit's installed already but it has not been completed uh, on the far end. So we'll go up to this next uh, next case and I'm probably, uh, probably gonna get my tent because the, um, it's starting to get a little toasty. It's still a nice damn day. It's like 70, 75, 80 instead of 105. All right. So, uh, second, um, second box, we had a 95, um, on that, uh, block, now we're down on the next block, um, we're getting a negative 16 coming off the 95, uh, tap, and, um, uh, this particular block, I'm at a 16.9, down there I was at a 15.9, and, uh, if we look at our power sheet here, um, 1.66 uh, so really freaking good that's uh, pretty um it's better than the spec sheet so I, I don't i can't complain there um but uh looks like all my taps are going to be a uh, 16.9 and if you look here i could probably have picked like just the best one that's probably why it's like that port four which would be Right? Now this is port three. Cool. All right. Well, whatever. Uh, 16.9. I know what I'm at in my house uh, box when I get over there. So, uh, up here at the house box. And uh, Seth really killed it on this one because the dude's got like, uh, look at how cool the brick is. Like, you don't want a bunch of nonsense running around. So, we came up. Uh, on it and uh, 
you can actually drill a hole in the back of the box and then the hole that penetrates the wall is behind the box um, so you don't even see like once i'm uh out of here that'll be it there just won't be any penetration that you see in the in the house i really like that that's cool um but uh he's gonna have a negative 17 here uh 16.9 uh, so we'll uh go, i'm gonna go close up my little campsite there and come on down here and get this customer online today all right uh oh yeah that don't look so bad actually so we're just gonna do our uh our drop side right quick Ugh. And i got a ton of slack on this so i uh, got my little pigtail go ahead and do that first strip this a little long because it is loose tube okay well that sucked Alcohol thingy broke. Mm. Time to get on Amazon, I guess. Whew. There's the sun. Good lord, I'm cooking. did one of these a second ago my cleaver wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. Yep, now she's cool. I rotated the uh, blade there. God, I am convinced there's something on my back crawling like a bug or something. I always close that just so I can use it as a table. And, uh, do another one. These folks have been waiting for service for quite a while. I'm pretty happy to be able to get them set up. So we were 16.9 out on the street, and uh, everything's sticking. Let's see what we get here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave that alone because this is pretty neat. Uh, let's see if you can see that. Yeah. So. I'm gonna go ahead and plug my pigtail in. You can watch this in real time, it's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. So, right this second, I'm at a negative 59. The fibers aren't put together. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close, I'm gonna close the splicer and see if you can see both on yeah, it actually looks pretty good. Move over just a little bit. So I'm going to close that, and you'll see as the fibers go together, the power will uh, dramatically change. Negative 37, negative 20, negative 17.4, and there's 
negative 16.9 just like it was out on the street. Well, uh, what I'm do is just might as well just finish it all here. So, got our pigtail put back together, and go ahead and do our heat shrink tubey. This is just a little adapter um, that I bought for something, but ended up uh, really liking it to go with my um, power meter because pretty much with this, then I can test anything, uh, any connector. Uh, it's on our network anyway. Yep, and there you have it. Now I have to let that cool, otherwise it will um, deform and get all weird looking. So let's let it kind of hang. And uh, I have to go uh, like take my shirt off or something because there is something in there. All right, and that's just what the front looks like. Uh, it's just a pigtail, no coupling. It's just a service coupling. And uh, got our uh, pre-made drop that goes inside. And I could just uh, take a peek at the modem right quick and then I'll go provision it.